Dear Ukrainians, good health to you. I held a Supreme Commander-in-Chief staff meeting today, a long and very detailed one devoted to several issues. The commanders reported both on the general defense situation and the specific directions of our defense and our offensive actions. During this day, we also have made progress in all directions of our active actions. We considered the supply of rounds for artillery for the east, for the south, at the staff meeting. And although our work with partners to receive rounds for Ukrainian soldiers is already at our best capacity, we will make it even more active. Strengthening our artillery is an obvious priority, and all foreign affairs specialists received additional tasks today. The situation in the north, in particular, on the territory of Belarus, was considered separately. Our intelligence reported today defense intelligence, foreign intelligence, border guards intelligence, the SSU chief reported. We very carefully analyze every fact and any prospects in all directions. By the decision of the staff, Commander-in-Chief Zaluzhny and General Nayev were instructed to strengthen the northern direction to guarantee peace. Appropriate deadlines are set. Today, I thank Denmark and personally Prime Minister Meta Fredriksson for the new defense package for Ukraine. Artillery rounds, air defense missiles, demining equipment. Thank you. I also held several meaningful preparatory meetings today regarding the internal context in our state, relevant internal measures and international measures. An extremely important period of foreign policy is beginning. The work in order to expand peace through expanding our security capabilities, our alliances and cooperation. The following weeks will be extremely active and the positions of our state are clearly defined. All our officials know what to do. And one more. Today is the first anniversary of the liberation of Snake Island from the Russian invaders. It is one of our major victories. Remember, last year, in the spring, no one expected from Ukraine that we would be able to implement, in particular, this fundamental defense task to provide security to Snake Island and therefore to a significant part of the Black Sea water area. But our soldiers did it. Russian terrorists needed Snake Island to destroy the entire south of our country, our beautiful Odessa and other cities. Our soldiers stopped them and drove them out of Snake Island. Ukraine and Ukrainians are much stronger than anyone thinks about us. Sometimes stronger than we are used to thinking about ourselves. Thanks to all that our people managed to do in the confrontation with Russian terrorists, we are revealing to the whole world and to ourselves a new Ukrainian strength, a real Ukrainian strength. The strength that we will never lose and that will always be a pillar of the security of the free world. I am grateful to everyone who freed Snake Island. Defense intelligence, together with other elements of the defense and security forces of our country, conducted this operation. Defense Intelligence and the SSU Alpha Special Unit, the Naval Forces and the Army Aviation of the Ground Forces Command, the Air Force Aviation and our strong border guards. Thank you. And we will always remember our heroes, our soldiers, who gave their lives for the sake of this Ukrainian victory. Among those whose names can now be mentioned, Defense Intelligence Fighters, Ruslan Popov, hero of Ukraine, captain of the first rank, Ole Zaitsev, hero of Ukraine, junior lieutenant, Vitali Inatenko, hero of Ukraine, soldier. SSU Alpha Fighters, Volodymyr Kiselyov, hero of Ukraine, captain, Oleksandr Krikunenko, hero of Ukraine, major. Soldiers of the Navy, Ihor Bedzai, hero of Ukraine, Colonel, as well as Mikhailo Zaremba, Major, Serhii Mushitsky, Captain, Yuri Pyro, Staff Sergeant. Eternal memory. Eternal memory and glory to all those who gave their lives so that our beautiful Ukraine would live. Glory to Ukraine.